So, hi guys, you can see I have two masks here. One has yellow lenses that I'll turn inside out. And you can see now that there is one side there, and the white one has the white lenses. They are both the same. They are just two sides of Lycra, maybe pronounced rayon fabric. So you can see that they are one side, and they are both the same shape, with holes cut out for the lenses. So, I'll just turn those and put those out of the way. And I'm using Lycra fabric, guys. And as may be pronounced rayon, it is used in spandex uh, morph suits, or it may be used in sportswear. You can also get a nice tight fit hat if it's thin enough and you like the design, but I like to use the fabric, and the Lycra is perfect for nice tight fits. So, take the mask, and what I'm going to do is just cut around the same shape. I have folded it over, so I get two of the same sides, okay? So just start to cut your fabric. And just start to cut uh, the same sides of the fabric. Now you want to get that nice curve at the top. Give yourself room at the sides, guys. So when you're going to glue or sew this mask together, you want to give yourself enough room at the sides. So that when you do put the glue or the thread onto the masks, that you're not going too tight with your fit. So you can see that they are all just the same size, I have that nice curve going around. Okay, it just looks like a normal hat. And then you just get your glue gun and start to glue up the sides. So start to just press those sides together. Okay, now this is hot, hot glue gun is warm, so please guys be careful. Try to watch yourselves because this can burn. But just get that nice curve, because working with Legra guys, when you put it through the sewing machine, it tends to move a lot. So when I glue this together, tends to help that fix together and not move around so much when I put it through the sewing machine. Okay, so I get a nice tight fit. Just glue those sides together. So you can see now that I have my mask all glued together just around the edges. And now this mask is slightly bigger than my others because I'm going to sew around the edges like so. So as you can see now I just put it through the sewing machine and this makes everything much cleaner, much far better. And if you can't use a sewing machine guys, I would suggest getting someone you know to use a needle and thread. Or if you do have a little sewing machine, you can use that or use a glue gun. So, I just do this for extra safety. I go over this twice and this helps me. So, this is for the eye lenses guys. I use Stayflex and some sunglass lenses. Stayflex is used in Irish dancing dresses. You can use cardboard or EVA foam. But just get a nice pair of sunglasses that you like the lenses and the shape of. And put those onto your cardboard or EVA foam and draw around the shape of the lenses so that you can make sure that the lenses are going to fit and the eye frames are going to fit around these lenses. Now these can be whatever color you want. Sunglass lenses come in many shapes, sizes and different tints. So once you draw on your shape to make sure that this will fit your eye frames, you will need to start drawing on your design of your eye frames. So I just to start to draw the design of my eye frames. You can do a spectacular Spider-Man, Amazing Spider-Man, the Ultimate Spider-Man, Sensational Spider-Man. Any design you want, guys. I'm going for the Civil War design. So that means I'm going to layer up my lens frames. So I'm just going to start drawing out the outer frame. And I'm making sure that this fits my lens perfect. And you just start to draw that out. Now this is going to speed up here. And I'm just going to start to draw the inner frames once I get the outline done. So I draw the outline first, then I start to draw the inner frame. Then I go in again guys, and I start to draw another inner frame, because his goggles are actually magnified, or his eyes. I just draw those inner frames, just keep designing, and you will get something that looks like this. Now I had a first draft that I didn't like, and then I went with this one. So fold whatever you're using in half guys, so again you will get two of the same sized pieces. And just start to cut out those pieces again it can be used with cardboard or EVA foam they are a stiff enough material that they will stick you can spray paint those or wrap them in the fabric and you just start to cut out your pieces piece by piece so you can see I'm just cutting them out in thin strips and then I'm going to glue those together so first I'm going to wrap them in the fabric so you can see now I'm just placing my pieces onto the black lycra fabric maybe known as rayon or spandex fabric but you can find this guys online or in a local art shop or a fabric store but I just start to cut around the pieces you can see I, you need some sharp scissors and I start to cut around the pieces here to get the shapes and then I wrap the fabric around the pieces with using a hot glue gun 
Now you can spray paint yours guys, you can use colored tape, you can buy colored EVA foam so that you don't have to color yours. I just use this because the Stay Flex is white and it gives it that nice texture and tone. Yeah, you just keep doing this, cut out the pieces, keep going for every single piece. Now this does take time, so listen to music or watch a movie, it kind of helps pass the time. So once you just cut your pieces individually, they don't have to be too big guys, you can use an old t-shirt or some old fabric that you have, and they will look something like this. And I have already glued my other eye piece together, now you can see they are individual pieces, take one out, take the other one out, and I've just glued the outer rims together so that you can see the shape that it's taking, and I'm just going to start placing these inside, and I'll start to wrap the pieces. If you want to know how I wrap the pieces with the hot glue gun, you can check out my other process videos. But you see, I just start to place the hot glue on the back. Now I will say again, hot glue is hot. <laughs> you will burn yourself guys, so please be careful. You can uh, use some tape or some colored EVA foam so that you do not have to go through this process. Cutting some lines into the curves or corners also will give that fabric the nice bend and curve that you will want. It helps work around some intricate ways. So you can see now it's just covering up that white texture. And I do this with all the pieces. It is a time consuming process, but I do like the detail in it. So you can see there's one piece finished. You just start to place the hot glue on the back of the piece and wrap the fabric to the back of the piece. So again, you just see folding that around. You can watch my other process videos, guys. I do this near every single piece I do, any badge, iframe, or armor piece. So once you're near done with these pieces, you will have something that looks like this. And this is the outer ring as I showed before. Just place your pieces into those. It's supposed to be like a magnifying lens, so that is why they're going to be layered and beneath each other. So you do want to put too much glue guys, I put it on the back, you can see I don't put it on the piece. And I do this in little bits, I put the glue on in tiny bits and just do this evenly. I don't want any glue seeping through to the front or through those cracks, so I just place it at the back. I place the glue on in little bits so that nothing ever seeps through. And you just want your pieces to fit right and this does take time. So just have your pieces fitting in with each other, placing it at the back. Placing some glue in the corners of your pieces first and then putting it onto the piece as you can see me doing right now. And just put some glue in the corner, place it on and let that hold that on. So then you can see I will just turn it over to the back right now and place some glue on the back. And then I press it together, make sure it is holding and I do this multiple times guys. I put the glue on in little bits. I do not put heaps of glue onto my pieces. Because if you can just put it on to where it needs to be held, it will fit much better and you will not have any glue seeping through those cracks. And I hate it ruins the look so much. So just keep doing this, place some extra glue on the back for security. Keep getting those lines stuck together nice and tightly. Put your glue on in little bits and then move on to your lenses once you are done. Now for the coloured lenses guys, I use some white fabric and I get the sunglass lenses. Now you can use yellow tinted lenses if you want, you can use white tinted lenses, you can spray paint your lenses, but mine's fit perfect as when we drew the lens shape. And I just cut out the shape of the lenses from the white fabric. Now as I say before, you can spray paint yours, you can use some white mesh, but I just glue the fabric around the lens using the hot glue gun, and this gives that the nice texture and tone, just like the Stay Flex or the armor pieces. As you can see now, I just glue around the edge, start folding that fabric around the eye frame, start getting on your creases there, cutting off all the excess fabric, and then place it under. So to glue your lens to your eye guys, you will just start to glue uh, inside the lens shape like so, and then just place and press your lens to your eye frame. So then for extra security, I just put some extra glue on the lens to hold that nice, and that gives it a nice curve also, because the lens actually has a natural curve to it, for your face and that gives the eye frame that nice curve also to fit around your face. So do the same with the other lens, just wrap that fabric around, play it, make sure it fits, place some glue inside the eye frame like so and just press those together. Now guys you can use this for any method, a night wing mask, any kind of mask and I can't see through these if the light is very very good but if you just use a normal sunglass lenses they will be perfect and then they will just look something like this. So just make sure they are extra security and that you will have your eye lenses. So hi guys, as you just previously seen there, me sewing my mask, 
Uh, yeah, I have the eye lenses also right here. So I'm sorry this is a very long video. It is a just a process of how I did the whole thing. And yeah, so I have double sewn around the edges. You see me just do that quickly. Sorry if it was a bad angle, but I first glued it. You can just see the two sewing lines right there. And this is a nice fit mask. It fits me perfect. So let's see. Okay guys, so I pull it nice and tight and I have no wrinkles around the edges. So yeah, this is a perfect fit. You see me cut it, you see me glue it together, you see me sew it. And then I'm just going to add on these eyes right here like so. And they're going to go like that. Once I uh, put them onto the mannequin, I'm going to really stretch down this uh, fabric. So yeah guys, this is going to be my Spider-Man uh, mask. If you know how to put on some webs using puff paint, uh, using a thin, maybe a calligraphy pen, or maybe a nice feigned pen. But yeah, you see me cut the two pieces of fabric, glue them together, and then I sew those together again. And then I cut out the eye frames around the sunglass lens shape. And then I glue the sunglass lenses to this uh, eye frames. And you have your nice shaped eye frames, guys. So you glue all this together and you will get your nice mask. So as I say previously as well, you can do different eye shapes uh, from this one. So you can see now this is just a thin line going around the eye frame. This is a pair of sunglasses also. So yeah, these are actually made from cardboard as well, wrapped in the black fabric. And they, may, they are nice for a nice comic effect or a symbiote. Uh, I actually might be making a symbiote mask, so that's what maybe they are, they are for. But yeah, the layered approach for the lenses, the eye frames, the sunglasses, and you just... So, sorry guys, uh, my tablet decided to die halfway through when I glued on the eyes. So guys, I just put the mask on my mannequin head, and then I just glued the eyes to it. The bastard, I'm gonna curse you, yeah, that tablet is a bastard. So it didn't save the video, uh, I just glued the eyes just onto the mask and it's nice and stretched out. As I said in that video, it didn't record. Try and stretch it out nice and tight first when you glue on the eyes. You're not going to put it onto your face and glue it onto the face because it will burn. Try and uh, put it on your face, mark out where it sits. So yeah guys, I'm just going to take this off like so. Oh shit, it's not coming off. So, it doesn't want to come off. So I have it off, uh, this is it right here, so you can see I'm just going to turn it inside out, and you can see right here it actually has taken some foam off of the head, so as I say do not put this on your face and try and take it off, but I'm just going to cut some of this here. This works, guys, when you are wearing just normal sunglass lenses. Yes, I will also keep you now. Um, I'm going to add to that one up. You can see, guys, I've just cut a hole right here so I can see through the lens. You can do that on the other side. So, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll show you just me in the mask right now. And yeah, this is it. So, bye, guys. Oh, shit. So, yeah, guys, sorry about that. I had to take a phone call there. So as you can see, I'll just turn this uh, right side, right side, inside out, sorry. So I've cut just two holes where the lenses were. And previously, I'm sorry about, I, uh, I had the video recording, the tablet went off because of battery power, and it didn't save the video of me gluing the eyes to the mask. But as I say, just stretch it out nice and tight. And we'll get this nice. So guys, you can see now, this is me with the mask on. Thank you everyone for watching. Uh, you can use cardboard for the eye frames. As again, as I said before, this is sunglass lenses. I can't see out of the sun, even when they are wrapped in the white fabric. But if you can find alternatives to make them white, you use that alternative. So as I always say, use your nature to do anything you want. I have no bumps around my edges at all.
YouTube show, please subscribe and comment, guys. You can make any of these mods. You can see here's my two Civil Wars. Here is my own design with the yellow tinted. And a new design that's going to be a Spider Man 1. Yes, guys, I'm going to be doing many flowers. It's not a spider. Thank you so much for watching guys if you have stuck with us so long uh you are all amazing thank you so much for the th over three thousand there four thousand subscribers oh my god oh my god <laughs> love you all guys you're all amazing you can easily make this please subscribe and comment for me everyone here at ireland and spider-man bye guys love you